Instead of visiting various university websites and finding professors to code email with no idea of whether they have funding to take on new students, would you like to know a means of finding professors where you are sure that they have funding? This video is for you then. Take your notebooks and let's dive right in. Hello guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to find supervisors or professor with a short funding to code email. Instead of you knocking at a closed door with these people, I'm going to show you that they do have the funding. It's now up to you to win them over. As you know, my goal on this channel is to teach you how to do things. Then you have to go and do that. So let's dive right in. If today is your first time on my channel, I'm Barbara Budget and I create content to help people succeed in graduate school. I share application tips, apl applying to schools and scholarship. So do subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell button to get notified once any new video drops. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for returning and I hope you finally get the results or the answers you are looking for. So I'm going to consider two websites, one in Europe and the other in America. In Europe, the website is um, based on the European Research Council and they're actually a body in Europe. They actually launched a project called the Horizon Project where they are going to fund uh, researchers and scientists with 609 million will be invested in excellent projects dreamed up by scientists and scholars. Here are a few examples of research to be funded with ERO starting grants 2021. And this was made in 2022. That means most of these researchers just got the money, so it's still new. So your goal now is to identify those researchers who have been given the money, and these are the people you are going to target. So instead of just randomly emailing people to look for funding, try and target these people. This is just a few examples. There are quite a lot of them. So now you have to just find the full list. It's somewhere on the website. You find the full list of the researchers who've been given the money. And these are the people you are going to target. I'm going to link, I'm going to put this link in the description box. If you are a scholar and your goal is actually to get into graduate school with funding, I suggest you take your notebooks and start taking notes and learn from this. You know my goal is to teach you how to do things, then it's up to you to go on and do it. If you have questions, just leave it in the comment section. So when you go to the website, one of the most important thing you have to go is this place, just to give you a fair idea of what the project is about and what they are looking for. This is a project which is Animal Culture and the Change, a landscape level analysis of socio-cognitive responses to human impact. The researcher is called Lucy Applin, and this is the institution she's going to be in. She's going to be given one, like about 1.5 million for 60 months, and this is still new. So you can get in right from the start. This is the abstract, and this is what you should focus on when code emailing. She's been given money to work on this particular project. So this project is what is of interest to you. Now let's break this down to know how to send the code email and to know what she's looking for. Cognition is a key factor underpinning the success of species in cities. Yet without social learning and culture, innovations live and die in a single individual. This capacity has been crucial for the success of humans, but can the same be said about other species? This is like the research question. This is like the research technology. This is like what she's thinking of doing. Now, this talks a bit about her, Lucy. Uh, this is something that you could read. But the next thing I want us to look at is the identify the objective of the project, which is here. 
Dr. Appling's goal is to understand the best resource landscape, demography, and social structure. So what she wants to do is she wants to investigate on to investigate on how to understand the best resource landscape, demography, and social structure. This is the focus. This is why she's doing this research. The next question that we are going to be asked is like, how does she aim to achieve this? She will use a combination of citizen science and direct observation to identify candidate cultural traits, then couple initial data with experience, elucidating cognitive and social dynamics, underlining the spread of innovations. If you're in the zoology space, if you're in the animal science space, if you're in the agriculture space, and you read this, you feel it's interesting for you, but you don't understand all these terms, what I suggest is you have to Google search them. We all don't know things, we have to learn them. So like don't be don't be scared when you read something and you don't understand. All you have to do is to copy the words you don't understand and just Google search them. Or look at some of the papers she's done in this field and just read, read, read every time you'll be able to get a hang of what's going on. The next thing is we come here. These approaches will help her collect information on differences in behavior and to follow cultural changes over time. Her unique research will help us grasp better cultural diversity in animals, help understand whether culture can be source of behavior flexibility in changing environments, and might give a few insights into evolution of culture in humans. So at the end of the day, this is the result and conclusion. This is what she wants to achieve by the end of this project. So when you are emailing, this is what should be your focus. Try and target something in this area because she has money in that area. Now that we know what she's working on, how do we find her? All you have to do is to copy her name and the institution she's working on into Google. So I just Google Lucy Applin Max Planck. I go to the first one, which I've already opened the tab to make the video short. So this is who she is. And this is an email. So this is all you need to send her code email. If you are having struggles with how to send a code email, I've already I already made a video in the past about how to code email professors. I will it will be I'll leave it in the description box or it will be like a card somewhere on the link. So just go there and understand how to send a code email and send a good code email. I also suggest you read a little bit into her website, a little bit about her papers to know how she works in things. So this is it for Lucy. I'm going to add one other person on this website, then we are going to go into the website for the US. So we are done with this. There are so many of them, but um, we can't cover all of them. So this is another one I would like us to look at. Um, it's about tickling, no laughing matter. So we go back, we come back to find our content information of this person. She's Constantina Kyoteni. This is in Spain, and the project is the Neuroscience of Human Tickle Perception. Now let's look at the abstract, and let's look at the things we want to identify. Try to tickle yourself. No matter how hard you try, the sensation you feel is always less ticklish compared to the sensation produced by somebody else tickling you. Why? Tickle is a sensation that we induce to our babies and partners, but some of us might find it a very unpleasant and stressful experience. Why? Touch on certain bodies, areas feel more tickly than others, and some people are more prone to be tickled than others. Why? So these are the research questions. These are some of the things you would like to know is that why is it that some people enjoy tickling and others don't? Why is it that some parts of our bodies are ticklish and others don't? So this is basically the objective and the research question. So now let's look at the next part. Um, these questions are the focus of investigation for Constantina Kiltini, a researcher passionate about touch and how the brain uses it to build our perception of the soul. Tickle is one of the most understudied sensations governed by a neural mechanism that still remain unknown. Socrates, Aristotle, and Darwin philosophized about tickle sensation, but after two millennia, we still speculate about its functionality. Despite this fundamental lack of knowledge, there's currently no active research on the topic. So this is a research significance. This is why she wants to learn this phenomenon, that it's an important aspect of ourselves, which is influenced by the brain. But despite the tickling being an important aspect, there is no much research on that. So she wants to bring in a lot of audio knowledge on this topic. 
So in this project, Dr. Kiltini will develop a new interdisciplinary approach to study the neuroscience of human technical perception. So that's the objective to study the neuroscience of human technical perception. How does she want to do this? She will use robotic technology, modern behavioral and neuroimaging tools, and advanced statistical modeling techniques to fill the knowledge gap that exists about technical perception. So she wants to study technical perception. She wants to use robotic modeling. So these are basically some of the skills of the people she should be looking for. So if you want to email her, it's very important you have these skills. It's not all that important, but once you have these skills as a class, and if you don't have these skills, you could take time and just learn a little bit about these things and be like, oh, I'm actually working on this area and this and this is what I and this is what I've learned. So, so this is basically the summary. So now let's look at how to find it. Just like in the first part, you just have to Google this person, which I did. It gave me a lot of information. So I just chose the first one. This is Karolinska Institute, but it says here, it says in this video that she is at Pompeii Fabra University, which is mostly, be, let's, let me just change this to, let me add Pompeii Fabra University. Pompeii, ah, let me just copy this to make it easier for everybody. I don't know why I can't copy, but okay. Pompeii Fabra, okay. And one of the things I'll suggest is also like, just follow these people on Twitter because you get to know what they are working on. You can interact with them. So once you send them an email, like, oh, I already know you've been interacting for a while. I'm going to go to this website. We'll look at the other one later on. So this is the website, this is the, the laboratory she's working on under the Karolinska Institute. This is the lab. Take time to read about her project and what she's doing. So now let's look at the lab. Touch and tickle lab. Um, join us if you're interested in conducting an internship or helping us research assistant, like you can just contact with your CV and what you need. So with this, you should be able to get her email address quickly to send her the details you need. So that's about it for Europe. There are so many of these projects. Just take your time and look into that. Now let's go into, it's taken a while for Twitter to open, but yeah, just check her Twitter to see what she's been working on and try and connect with her, try and engage her in conversations. The next website is the NSF. I'll also leak, leave a link of this in the description box so you can visit this. Once you get to this site, once you get to this link, then this is where the magic happens. This is where you type what you are interested in. I'm going to use machine learning as an example. You could use anything you want. You could use like the program you are studying, maybe electrical engineering to see what offers are available. You could use like research interests, yeah, interest like machine learning, concrete, optimization, whatever you're interested in. Just, just play around with this. Just play around with this. So I'm going to choose the first one, which I've already opened. So this is what's about. The objective is towards a theory of machine learning with strategic interaction. As you can see, there are so many information, but what you actually need are uh, these are some of the things that are very important. The start date, the end date. You know this is starting in March 1st, 2022, so you still have time. Like You have time to prepare to send this person an email. And you know the end date is February 28, 2027. I will not, like, once you read, and if it's something that you can work on, just send them an email. And this is, like, the end line is 2027. And the amount that will be given is 600,000 US dollars. And so far they've been given 120,000 US dollars. These are the information you need, but this is the most important aspect, the abstract. Just like we did in the other video, try and identify the objective of the funding, try and identify the methodology that's going to be, try and identify the results and conclusion. And once you are done, 
frame your code in or to target these things. So I'm going to look for this person. She's Nika Haklab. So which I've already done here. They gave me like one first person. And as I said, if they have a Twitter, you could actually follow. So I go here, she's in UC Berkeley. And this is like, this is an email. And one thing you could see, here, thank you for your interest in joining my group. Unfortunately, I'm not able to respond to your emails about PhD admission. If you're interested in doing your PhD with me, please apply directly on the university website. Most years, my group welcome new PhD students. So as she said, you sh it's not necessary for you to code email here. You just have to apply directly into the university. And once you're applying, just mention her name, like just like try and your personal statement or your motivation letter or your interest, try and make it to highlight with her research interest because you already know she has funded, you know what she's working on. So you can target that. So this lets you know that not everybody that's expecting a code email, some of them will just want you to just apply directly to your university. So this is an information that you can learn from. Now, this is also another person I looked into, and this is also on optimization and power systems. So this is electrical communication and cyber systems. So this is something of interest to you. Um, it started in January 15, 2020, so just last year, and it's going to end in 2025. This person is going to be given 500,000, and so far they've been given 393K. This is the investigator, Sumaye Suji D, and she's working at UC Berkeley, just like the first person. You come to the abstract and identify the information that is of use to you. You go to Google, you find her, you go to her website, you try to get her email, which is this. Try and look in the research, try and look at what she's done, try and look at publications in those fields to make communications easier. And voila, that is it. So this is basically how to find supervisors with a short funding. Let's look at, so this is Constantine Kiltini. This is her Twitter. So like she talked about that she's gotten funding. So these are some of the information you could actually get on her website. You could interact with her to learn a bit more about her. Which with this attach and tech collab, you could actually also join the lab in these things. Just to like familiarize yourself with what's being done in this space. So a lot of, you know, she also retweets opportunities. So please retweet searching for a place to do an MSc like. In the computational neuroscience, they have something for you. So this is also a great opportunity to find other resources in your field. So that's about it. I hope you learned a lot. If you have any specific questions, just leave it in the comment section and I'm going to help you out of this. If you did like this video, kindly hit the like button because it helps YouTube share it with other people. If you haven't yet subscribed, do so and i will if you've not yet looked at the scholarship database you should to hear from me again